Hey, it's Ethan with ComTech. Today I'm gonna go over how to use the Connect UC mobile app. Um, so if you've stumbled on this video and you're looking for the desktop app, which is a little bit different, I'll have a link below to that video, but this is specifically for the mobile app for Connect UC under the ComTech phone service. Now, on the installation side, uh, depending on if you have an Android or if you have an iPhone, you're gonna go to your app store. So for Android, it's gonna be your Google Play Store. For iOS, it's gonna be the app store. When you go there, you wanna type in Connect You See all one word, okay? When you do that, what it's going to look like is this little guy right here. Once you do that, the first thing that's gonna pop up when you launch the app, so download and install the app, once you do that, it's gonna ask you a few questions. The first is, do you allow it to make phone calls? You wanna choose allow uh, or it's not gonna work. The next thing it's gonna say is, hey, do you want it, do you wanna allow it to record audio? So you're gonna click allow on that too. It's just some permission settings to allow the, the microphone to work. And then it's gonna ask you an optional item, which is do you want it to access your contacts? That is completely up to you. I'll show you where it's relevant here in just a moment. Uh, but the if you allow it to have access to your contacts, that means that your contacts from your phone will be imported into the app, so that way you can call them easily from the app. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a moment. Um, once you approve all those settings, then you can sign in. It's gonna be your username typically is your extension at your company name, and then you're gonna have your password. If you don't know your password, reach out to us here at ComTech. We'll be more than happy to help you get that. And then sign in. Um, on the main screen, so it defaults to this screen here. Uh, so it's gonna show you your recent calls, and then what I want to highlight is something that I think is very nice inside of this app, and that is the fact that there is a new button up at the top right on every single page. Now, they designed it that way because when you click new, you can add a contact, you can send a text message if you have texting turned on, or you can make a phone call. And I think that's nice because depending on what tab I'm on, um, I like the ability to always start a new conversation or start a new phone call. Um, so if you click the new item, that's the options that you get. Uh, and I'm still on this same screen here. So on the main calls page, as I was saying, you've got all your call history. If you have call recording turned on, you'll have those little squiggly lines there so you can listen to audio. Uh, and then the final thing I wanted to mention on this slide is on the right hand side, you do have a dial pad that's you know, close to the bottom of the screen there. So you can also use that to make a phone call. The next tab is voicemail. Now, I don't have any voicemails in here, uh, but if there were any voicemails, they're gonna show up right here and you can play them very quickly. On the next tab is contacts. This is what I was talking about a few minutes ago. So as you can see right here, um, I've got up here at the top left, it says all contacts. If you chose to import, to, to allow the Connect UC app to view your contacts on your phone, you would see all contacts. So you would include your company contacts as well as all the contacts on your phone. Um, so it does have some filter options where you can say, hey, just show me my contacts, don't show me my personal contacts on my phone. So you have lots of different options there for all of the people that are on the ComTech phone system. So if they're in your company, they're, they're also using the Connect UC app. You'll notice that you can have it's, it's gonna show if they're available, it's gonna show if they're on a call, uh, and you can quickly call them if you need to. If we go to the next tab, that's gonna be your texting. Um, one thing I like to highlight here is up here in the top left, you'll actually see that you can share text messaging numbers. Um, so for me, I have a personal direct line that's actually blanked out there. Uh, that's the line that I typically text clients on, but I also have the main line uh, for our entire company. That way, me and a few other techs, we share that main line, so that way if anyone texts our main line, we can then respond. So you have the ability to flip back and forth and text from different numbers. On the park side of the house, uh, if you click on the park tab, you've got all of your parks there. If you don't know what parks are, think of a public hold. 
So I get a phone call. My name's Ethan. I say, hey, hold on one second. I've got to get you over to our CFO. His name is Jim. I put you on park. Jim would pull out his, maybe his Connect UC mobile. He would click on the park tab and he would see that I parked the call, how long the call has been sitting on park. And if Jim wanted to retrieve that call from park, all he's got to do is click on the person's name and it will retrieve that call. Now, the final thing that I will show is if you click on the, the main screen in the top left, you're going to have your name there. So if you click on that, there's two things that I wanted to cover. And do not disturb and disable calls because we there's a little bit of confusion about this. Let's say that you're on your Connect UC mobile and you just came back into the office and you just want to silence your mobile from ringing because you have a desk phone or you're, you're at the office and you have a, the desktop app, something like that. You don't want it to ring on all devices. In that case, you're going to choose disable calls. So disable calls means that the mobile app will no longer ring when you receive a phone call. Now, where's that different from do not disturb? If you choose do not disturb, that means that you're telling your, the entire phone system, don't disturb you at all. So that means your mobile phone wouldn't ring. If you have a physical desk phone, it would no longer ring. If you have the desktop app, the Connect UC desktop app, it's no longer going to ring. So hopefully you understand the difference there. Disable calls is only on this device. Do not disturb is across the board. If you have any questions on this, comment below or go out to our website. We would absolutely love to hear from you. Have a great day.